This is Pat Salber with the Dr. Ways In, and I have with me today Ruby Sanchez, who is the founder and CEO of Cocoon Cam. And Ruby, uh, welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm just fine, thanks. I do want to tell our viewers that I first met Ruby at a hackathon um, when uh, what we're going to talk about today, your Cocoon Cam product, uh, was just um, just starting out. So it's very exciting to see all the progress you've made, I think, in about a year and a half. Is that right? Yeah, around a year and three months now. Year and three months. Okay. So, uh, Ruby, let's start out by having you tell us what is Cocoon Cam? Um, what is it exactly that you're making and what are you trying to accomplish? Okay. So, Cocoon Cam is the first smart video baby monitor that detects your baby's heart rate, respiration, and skin temperature without ever touching your baby. And your differentiation is, because there are, there are monitors out there, but your differentiation is no touch. Yep. Uh, so there's no touch. You use it just like a regular camera that you put above your baby's crib with the exception that it detects your baby's vitals, but you don't have to put any wearables on your baby. And um, I understand that um, what really is your secret sauce isn't so much the camera that records the baby, but your ability to analyze the data. It's kind of your, your software, your algorithms. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, so our main goal with building this technology was building a way to non-invasively detect these vitals. And there are other competitors that um, emit, like, let's say, sound waves or microwaves into the environment. And because we're talking about babies and patients here, we wanted to build technology that instead of emitting anything, would just use visible light. And so what we're doing is... Uh, you can't see this with the naked eye, but every time your heart beats, your skin gets a little bit darker, no matter what your skin tone is. So we're actually magnifying the changes of color in the skin, identifying where your face is, and then detecting your heart rate in that way, which is pretty cool. And then using the same um, kind of technology, we're determining where your chest is, differentiating where your chest is to like, let's say you waving your hand, uh, magnifying the movement in the chest to determine your respiration. And then we're using an off the shelf infrared sensor, which again, does not emit anything. It just looks at different values, temperature values and values that um, the sensor gets from the environment to then do a bunch of math and determine your absolute skin temperature. And so uh, the idea is that you're going to have a consumer product, but I understand that there's been a lot of interest in your technology, in your secret sauce for um, use in other kinds of applications. Uh, are you able to share any of that with us? Yeah. So uh, we actually went through this cool program called the National Sound Science Foundation Innovation Corps Program, and they put us through this lean launch pad. Um, which was uh, created by Steve Blank. They got us to go out of the building and talk to uh, pediatricians where we learned that there's a lot of value in the neonatal intensive care unit. Uh, what's currently going on is whenever they switch off the leads in especially premature babies, skin falls off with it. And so it uh, creates a risk for infection. Um, it's a painful process for the baby, but it, it also upsets uh, the clinicians. And then on top of that, uh, whenever the humidity is not up to par, the leads will fall off, creates a lot of false alarms and alarm fatigue. Um, and there's also applications in airports, for example, where currently um, what the sensors are doing, these really expensive sensors are looking at the difference in values from like, let's say you and myself, if we walk into a room. This is for like Ebola screening. Ebola screening or even screening for someone that might be suspicious, for example, their heart might be a little bit elevated, their temperature might be a little bit high. Um, and these solutions are currently really expensive. So we would be providing a more accurate, less expensive solution for them. Um, and then there's all, also applications in like sleep apnea, um, intensive care units, uh, of course, and so uh, population management in general, which we're really excited about. So it sounds like you have a huge roadmap. Um, what is going to be your next step? Um, how are you going to bring something to, to market? What do, you, what do you think your first actual product will be? Right. So our very first product is focused on baby monitoring. Uh, there's a huge gap in that industry. There's not that much innovation. Parents are unhappy with current IP cameras because they can't tell that their baby's okay when their baby's sleeping. They're highly uncomfortable with putting wearables and electronics on their babies. So that's why our solution is perfect for them. Um, and so as far as, far as our, our vision, um, it's to build this into a platform. So what we would be doing is uh, building 
first the software solution, right? Making it accessible uh, to as many parents as possible. Um, and then uh, right because after- Because they could use their own camera and just add your, your algorithms to it? Exactly, because they can uh, use their own cameras and it's accessible to anyone. Um, but uh, so that provides a platform for access. But beyond that, we want to provide a, a platform for quality for um, not just baby monitoring, but also in healthcare, for example. And so that would lead us to build our own hardware product and sell that in the market. So um, when we first met, I think you were a team of four. Is that right? Yes. And um, so my question to you now is, this is very ambitious, really exciting, but very ambitious. Um, Are you still a team of four? And uh, in addition, um, where's the money coming from? How are are you funded now? Right. Uh, So our team has grown to around seven or eight people. There's three main co-founders. Um, myself, Pavan, and, and Siva. Um, so we have an engineer from Apple who is Pavan. He has a lot of experience in computer vision, applying that in the surveillance industry. And then Siva has experience at Tesla and Garmin. So he's really passionate about building hardware products from beginning to mass manufacturing. Um, and then where do we get our money? So we've actually been bootstrapping for as long as possible. One of the, the biggest um, words of advice was like, get to your prototype stage, get something that works and that is able to detect these vitals. And then once you actually need the funding, the funding, then go out and fundraise. So I'm really happy to, to share that just two months ago, we were invited to the White House to present to President Obama. Um, so we now have a fully working uh prototype that is able to detect your live vitals. And so we just started raising, uh, we've raised 60K in angel funding and we've soft circled uh, around 300 to 500K and we're looking to raise at least uh, 800K uh, in the next couple of months. Uh, to and get and a- with, through, uh, through angels, you're not talking to VCs? Right, we're talking to angels and the main reason is because uh, we're looking at finishing our software development. So we're not raising like two or three million yet. Um, and so the key there is to finish the software development. We have a couple of big companies that are really interested in integrating our software into their devices. And then once we have these opportunities on the table, then uh, make the decision as to like which way we're going to lead first in building this platform. All right. Well, that's really exciting. And um, you have with you today uh, Pavan, who's one of the founders, and he's going to be doing a demo for us. Let's um, take a look at what you have. Hi everyone, Um, we are uh, now seeing a demo of uh, Cocoon Cam. Here we see um, a hardware prototype which uh, consists of a camera and an infrared sensor. And it also has the infrared LEDs for night vision purposes. So what it's trying to do is get the image and uh, get the infrared sensor data. All the um, uh, processing is happening on our cloud server and um, we are displaying all the vital signs uh, detected on our mobile application here. So this is our Cocoon Cam mobile application. Uh, it's displaying the live video from our device and it's also collecting uh, the temperature, respiratory rate, and uh, live heart rate. 